Okay, one, two, three. Why am I not watching the Tour de France this year? There's a number of reasons. Um, first of all, if you like this channel, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. I try to put a bunch of stuff about riding in Southern California up. So here's the deal. Um, a couple of years ago, our internet provider, uh, they kept upping the price, upping the price. We were paying almost $200 a month. And then what happens is, um, I forget what year it was. I think it was, it was last year. I think last year was the first year I didn't watch the Tour de France. I missed it. But when you start paying 220, 230, um, they actually on their $200 tier, they said they were eliminating um, the channel NBC Sports that had uh, the Tour de France. And quite frankly, I'm a cycling fan. Look, I only have the internet for one reason, to look at cycling. And I have my cable for one reason. Well, three reasons. Tour of Flanders, Perry roubaix and the Tour de France. Well, last year they decided not to do it. And what I realized was we were literally spending over $2,400 a year so I could watch the Tour de France. I mean, screw that. Why don't I just get a ticket, an airline ticket to France? You can go to France and I'll just freaking camp for three weeks and follow the tour. It'd be probably be cheaper. So number one, um, it's just to sign a year contract for your internet provider for that kind of money seems like a total waste of time. The second reason, you go to NBC Sports, they're not televising the entire stage. Remember when Lance did the, um, uh, there were a couple times when they would televise the entire stage, usually the mountain stage and also Alpe d'Huez. Remember the time trial at Alpe d'Huez? Forgot what year that was. You tell me what year that was. That was freaking awesome. I remember getting up at like 2.33 in the morning to watch live four hours of a stage because it was freaking cool. We had a bunch of Americans in it and it was fun to watch. I know a lot of people don't like Lance. He made some boo-boos. I get it. But you got to admit, when Lance was racing, television was awesome for cycling. Let me rest my arm. Okay, so here's the thing. The other thing, quite frankly, about this year is we just don't, there's nothing interesting going on. All the, all the guys like Chris Froome and stuff, not the most exciting writer to watch, but a lot of these guys are, because of the, uh, the disease that shall not be named, are waiting for the Vuelta or the Giro. And it's like, well, who's, who's going to win? Eh, a couple guys. But it just kind of looks boring. Let's do number three. Um, what's the third reason? So how am I going to keep abreast of what's going on? Because let's face it, even though I'm not watching it, I'm still going to watch it. I recommend to go to Steep Hill dot tv on your computer and very often they will show clips of like the last 10 kilometers highlights so you can get the gist of what's going on uh, with cycling and watch the tour de france without paying any fees also i just like to look at the pictures often with every stage they'll have 30 or 40 different uh pictures of what's going on in the stage and so you can get the gist of it but for the most part Man, in the 90s, it was fantastic when uh, Lance was racing because what he really brought to uh, the public was awareness of cycling. Yeah, awareness of cancer, but awareness of cycling. And that's what really drove, it seemed, the telev television up. No, that's number no. Let's not forget that. Um, so no, I'm not going to be watching the Tour de France like I used to. I do miss watching the Tour de France, and I do miss uh, getting excited about it, but it's going to be in September this year. Hey, last thing. What's the deal with this thing of if someone or one person or two gets a positive test of COVID, the whole team is gone? 
What I predict happening in this year's tour is some guy is going to be winning the tour. It's going to be the 19th stage and a mechanic or some PR person on their team is going to be tested positive for COVID and the Tour de France is going to take, wipe them their entire team out and take that leader out. It'll either happen to the yellow jersey, the green jersey, polka dot, white jersey, something like that. Something controversial because every year at the Tour, something controversial has to happen. Otherwise, it's not exciting to watch, right? So let me know in the comments section down below, are you paying money for your internet provider to watch the tour? Are you actually watching the stages? I mean, Phil Liggett is, uh, there's Phil Liggett and um, Paul Sherwin. Paul Sherwin is gone. You know, even though those guys, they're, they're, they were predictable a little bit. They were the voice of cycling for at least me in America. And now I love Bob Roll, but the other guys just kind of don't do it for me. So let me know in the comment section what you're doing for the Tour de France. And uh, are you paying for the internet uh, to televise it or are you just looking at steephill.tv? Uh, let me know.